Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the adventures of Eärendil, High Elven Mage. In our last session, we concluded after spending a little bit of time exploring this fort full of ne'er-do-wells. It's actually one of two interesting forts connected by a walkway, a raised walkway, as we can see on my map here. Here's the lower fort, the southern fort. We have a northern fort above it. We haven't gone in there yet. Uh, we might just take a quick peek. We haven't fully explored this one yet, but that's okay. Our character is currently still rather low on experience, very vulnerable, so I don't want to uh, risk spending too much time in these areas uh, that are quite dangerous. Um, and we've already gathered a lot of loot. We might try to get a little bit more loot, but uh, we don't need too much more. Uh, one thing I did neglect to check, though, is whether there is an exit from here onto that walkway so that we can walk across to the other fort. So we're going to take a look right now. If we look at our map, we have doors marked in red. Those are all just interior doors. And we have marked in green here a stairway leading up to the second level. And we did go in there briefly before. I don't think we ever went up to the third level. So we might check that out. Here on the second level, we have again only interior doors, no doors that seem to be going outside. We have again a green staircase leading up. Interesting little corpse on the ground. Oh my, who is attacking me? I better cast heal, light heal. There we go. Cast it again. Gotcha. Okay, 39 gold pieces, a dagger, and a buckler. Great. A night blade. Hmm. Let's go up, and here we have the third and final level, the topmost level, and there is no exit onto the walkway. Um, of course, if there had been an exit onto the walkway, I would have expected it on the second level, probably. So anyway, interesting. We have uh, a few interesting looking rooms. I'm not sure we want to risk spending too much time here. Maybe I'll do a little save. In the first slot. Save early, save often in multiple slots whenever you're playing games like this. Very easy to die in this game. Oh, all right. Interesting looking bedroom. Let's see if we can get some rest. Beautiful. Any raised platform is typically a safe place to rest. I think we have some loot. Yes, indeed. Beautiful, 76 gold pieces. Very interesting. Kind of odd looking tapestries and very brightly colored. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I guess uh, I call those drapes or something. Anyway, let's continue on. Save again. Take a quick glance at each of these rooms, and then I think we'll just move on. As far as I know, these types of piles, they never have anything interesting. Uh, I still check them every now and again. Oh, goblins! Where's the other goblin? They always come in pairs. The other one might be outside the door, waiting for me. Well, I already took care of your buddy, I'm sorry to say. I heard- oh, there you are. Gotcha. Three gold pieces. Another bedroom. I guess you could interpret these as tables. Let's go ahead and save again. Thank you. 
And let's exit the fort and we'll go ahead and walk around, check out the walkway a little bit more closely because I, I want to see if there's some way to get up onto that walkway. Oh, 100 gold, 88 gold, and a saber. Very nice. Ah, I see. I meant to go this way. Here we go. And we'll make our way out of this fort. Saving again. The time now is 7.52 in the morning, Turtis, 17th of Frostfall. And we could still carry some more stuff. Oh my, it's quite foggy. It's a little bit unfortunate in that uh, I was hoping we could clearly see the walkway and everything else. Uh, well, at least we can see everything once we're close to it, but we can't see the fort up there to the north. Anyway, is there some way to get up onto this thing? Oh yeah! <laughs> Just walking onto it. Walking toward it allows you to immediately climb up. We get a little bit of graphical glitching sometimes uh, near these types of corners, unfortunately. You know, the 3D graphics or pseudo 3D graphics that uh, were used for this type of game in the early to mid 90s. Um, it's definitely not always perfect, but it still has its. Uh, its own wonderful charm. Anyway, we're now on the walkway, so let's go check out the northern fort. Here it is. We can't look up in this game, unfortunately, but uh, anyway, I suppose it's still worth clicking on the walls here, but sure enough, they don't seem to be doing anything. So yeah, it's an interesting walkway, but it doesn't seem to provide any way to actually go into either of the forts. Let's save again, and briefly check out this one. I assume it will be basically the same interior. Looks like it. So... I might just do a tiny bit of loot gathering here on the first level, and then move on. Then we'll sell some of our loot, and we will continue our search for rumors of the Ogma Infinium. We are in Skyrim, as you may recall. We are in the area just outside of the city of Falkreath, later known as Falkreath. But we've already explored the city of Falkreath, or Falkreath, pretty extensively. So I think we're going to move on. 32 gold, not bad. We're going to move on. Probably to whatever town or village or city is to the north of us. Okay, we just got us a new torque. Are we already wearing a torque? Yes, we are. This torque has given us minus four to AR which again is a good thing. That one would only give him minus three, so it's not as good. We have some unidentified potions. You see a flask of bluish-white fluid, the consistency of spoiled milk. And you see a decanter of gray-blue fluid.
going to save again. And we are going to fast travel a little bit to the north. North Keep. The village of North Keep in Skyrim Province. The date is Turtus, 17th of Frostfall, the year 3rd Era, 389. Based on the current weather, it will take four days to travel here. The total distance is 220 kilometers. You should arrive by Morndus, 21st of Frostfall, in the year 3rd Era, 389. Okay. By the way, there is a search function here. So if we wanted to find North Keep, I don't think it works to just start typing North. Yeah, it doesn't find it, and so then it just provides a full list. You can also bring up this list by simply hitting enter as soon as you uh, bring up the search menu. And um, yeah, you can select different locations this way. Apparently it is not alphabetically ordered. I'm not sure how the ordering is handled. Anyway, let's try that again. North Keep. Yep. Okay, four days. Let's do it. You have arrived in the village of Northkeep in Skyrim Province. The date is Turtus, 22nd of Frostfall, in the year 3rd Era 389. It took four days to reach your goal. The village of Skyrim seems quiet, unaware of your arrival. The people here seem very friendly. That's pretty funny that it accidentally says the village of Skyrim it puts the province name in there instead of the uh, village name of Northkeep. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and explore this place. We have arrived at night, unfortunately, 2.34 in the morning. So we will keep our weapon drawn. I think it's kind of neat when there are these locations in towns and cities that are well lit from a distance. Uh, it's kind of an air of mystery. I like these fountains. You could do a little swimming and get the, uh, the swimming music activated. Kind of an interesting design choice to have a different song play while you swim, but I like it. Okay, so I think here we probably just have some nobleman's mansion or something like that. Get around this lamppost. That should be an inn up there, I believe. A safe place to spend the night. There's a cool statue. The Dirty Giants. Okay. Well, let's save again just in case. Will she their weapon? And here we go. The warm smells of tobacco smoke and simple foods draw you into the dirty giants from the freezing autumn night. Lovely. Let's talk to the innkeeper. A very influential character called Old Asgarn nervously draws you aside as you approach the bar. Okay, this is interesting. They tell me you're called Eärendil. If you're as tough as you look, I know a way for you to get a quick 64 gold pieces. This religious tome I have was supposed to be a Brotherhood of War yesterday, and if it ain't there by Mindus, 23rd of Frostfall, things could get real nasty. Someone there will give you your reward if you're a Brotherhood of War in time. Do we got a deal? Yes, sure. By the beard of Thorig, the good spirits must have delivered you indeed. I am relying on you, Eärendil. Do not let me down. Well, I'm glad to hear that my reputation has preceded me a little bit. Let's go ahead and ask about general rumors. I heard that some lord in a high rock village angered his patron spirit this week. The local shaman foresees a plague over all the province within the month. Oops. Cancel. I do not want to sneak into a room. Let's get some work rumors. We've come to the wrong tavern. We don't know about any jobs. Well, we already got one from somebody anyway. Let's uh, buy a quick drink. Perhaps a nice stout. You finish the stout, thankful for a safe haven. Okay. Oops. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Let's get a single room. One day. Ten gold pieces. Come on. 
we only want to pay eight. Eight gold pieces is incredibly cheap for the single. You've got a bargain, kid. Shake on it. Sure. Okay. So, again, it's about 3 a.m. So. Oh. Let's just rest for three hours. So we wake up now close to 6 a.m. Let's go sell some of our goods and hopefully find some rumors about the Agma Infinium. I wonder if there are any friendly locals. Probably not. Talk to the bartender, High Elf. He's the only one of the Dirty Giants with information. Okay. By the Har Father, I'm in no mood to be hassled by a drunk High Elf. Uh, I'm not drunk. You're the one who's been apparently up all night drinking. Anyway. Moving on. It's still playing the nighttime music. But that should go away very soon. Let's save our game. And hopefully find a store before long. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Who are you? Greetings, High Elf. I am Darta Ingmixen, a typical weaver, and I hope to be hired to make a new tapestry for the palace. That's cool. Have you heard any interesting rumors? Some guy was here last week trying to sell information about the Ring of Finaster. Like, we're the sort of fools to believe in such things. Ah, the Ring of Finaster. So, we might indeed have uh, this artifact that we could pursue. That might interest me. Uh, I was hoping for the Ogma Infinium, and we will probably be able to get that in the near future, but if the Ring of Finaster is available now, I might go for that first. Rumors about work? Now, you didn't hear it from me, but go check out the Thirsty Guard to the Northwest if you think you might be interested in a delivery job. Ask for a notably peculiar aristocrat called Lady Harris. Okay. Oh, by the way, where is the nearest store? I'm not really sure. Go Northwest for a while and ask there. Okay. And where is the Brotherhood of War? That's west of here, last time I checked. Last but not least, do you happen to know anything about Fang Lair? Try the local inn. Tales are flying back and forth about something unearthed in the province of Hammerfell. Maybe you should check there. Hammerfell, huh? Well, it does confirm rumors we'd heard before. So yes, soon enough we will move on to Hammerfell. We are right next to the border between Skyrim and Hammerfell, after all. Hello, my blue-haired friend. Good day, Hyel. My name is Fenrens Asgensen, the village historian. I fear I smell a little of library dust. Heard any rumors? Just business as usual. Work rumors? Here's a sure thing, a delivery job for some notably peculiar aristocrat called Lady Harris. You can't miss this character over at the Thirsty Guard a few steps northwest of here. Oh, okay. That's right, we won't be getting any other work rumors besides that one. Which unfortunately means I don't think we can currently get a Ring of Finaster artifact quest either. But, oh well, that's okay. There's the daytime music. I wonder which temple this is. This might be the one we were looking for for the little quest we took. Let's look at our logbook. You have agreed to deliver a religious tome to Brotherhood of War by Midtus 23rd of Frostfall. And we have that in our inventory. Way down here. Yep. Okay. No, this is the Conclave of Faith. But we can keep heading west, and maybe a little bit north. This might be a shop. Yes, indeed, sure enough. Beautiful. 
Aurorik's Professional Weaponry Store. Let's save again just to be safe. It is a miserable autumn day outside, and it is good to get inside Herrerich's Professional Weaponry Store. You glance over the new shipments of supplies and weaponry. I think you're right there. Sure enough. Nothing too interesting to buy, eh? Can I sell a few things? So we've sold everything that we want to sell for now, I believe. Let's look at our map. We need to go west a bit more, perhaps, to find the... whatever it was called, Brotherhood of War or whatnot. And if we see some more shops, we might as well step in just to see if they have any really cool enchanted items. I do like our Dagger of Endurance, but uh, perhaps the Dagger of Agility might be even better. Especially if it's made of some special material. Ooh, so many options. Bien's Finest Merchandise, and here we have the Worms Tool Store. Okay, save again. Enter the Worms Tool Store, rubbing your hands together to warm them from the chill. Many items of interest hang on the walls and are displayed in the display case in front of you. Nothing interesting. Dang it. Okay. Moving on. It is a miserable autumn day outside, and it is good to get inside England's finest merchandise. You glance over the new shipments of supplies and weaponry. I think that's a different name than the one we saw from the outside. It's odd. But these games do tend to be somewhat buggy. Again, just boring, boring stuff. Nothing enchanted, or made of special materials. Okay. That is unfortunate. So yeah, let's look at the name again. Yeah, Bien's Finest Merchandise, a different name. Let's continue heading west. Skills. Yes, indeed. We could spend a little time here. You enter the Mages Guild, its gloomy interior not much different from the cold, overcast sky outside. At least you silently think the interior is warm. You rub your hands together to bring back some feeling. Around you are arcane implements and mystical apparati. You can feel a strange tingling on your skin. Very cool.
Excuse me. Who are you? You can call me Kirsta Torberson. I am a nomad, you know. I mostly travel around, doing odd jobs. Well, could you perhaps tell me, where is the Brotherhood of War? I'm pretty sure it's south of here. Heard any interesting rumors? Hmm, someone trying to sell information about the Ring of Firemaster again. Very interesting. Where is the uh, nearest store? East of here. Okay. here, go south for a bit. The fog is making it hard to see distant buildings, of course, but then again the view distance isn't terribly far anyway, so in a way it's a useful contrivance. We have a bit of a park here. Which of these might the Brotherhood of War. Very interesting name for a temple. Brotherhood of War. But of course it is not at all unheard of for religious folk to be involved in issues of war. Hello there. Who are you? You do not know? I am only Ingmans Haraldson, one of the personal priests of Lord Allen. You must be new to town. Lord Allen, huh? Okay. Where is the Brotherhood of War? Give me just a moment and I'll show right on your map how close you are, Ingmans Haraldson says. Any interesting rumors? Rumor has it there is a plague in Skyrim. Well, there are always rumors of plagues, unfortunately. I check at the inns, but I haven't heard of any jobs in days. Very well, thank you. So, he's marked it on our map. Okay. Let's go around this way just for fun. Excuse me. There it is. Beautiful. In we go. It is a miserable autumn day, but within the Brotherhood of War, there is faith yet that the winter may not be so deadly. Hello there. What a marvelous religious tome, and it's even here on time. Quite unlike Asgard to be so punctual, I assure you. Well, enjoy your 64 gold piece reward, you've earned it. Lovely. suppose we could ask for a blessing and leave a donation of 10 gold. Receive our blessings. Gained a level of experience, all right. Only three points, oh that's unfortunate. And we had not saved super recently, so whatever, I'll just accept this. Let's go ahead and put um, a few points into endurance, and we'll call it good. Uh, three points, that really is disappointing. But yeah, I'm not going to bother loading a save. Let's see the layout of this temple. Interesting. Curious to see what is in these rooms. Probably nothing of particular interest, but a table in the middle. Okay, okay. Bookshelves and whatnot. That makes sense. Not bad. The giant onks along the walls are slightly ridiculous in my opinion, but still. They are kind of cool, they do certainly help add to the flavor. 
I like these little emblems or tapestries on the walls. How we go? I don't think there's anything more we want to do here in this village. They call it a village, it seems a bit big for that name. Perhaps town would be more appropriate in my opinion, but uh, anyway. Let's go ahead and move on to another location and ask again for rumors. Go to Granite Hall. Two days. Very well. You have arrived in the town of Granite Hall in Skyrim Province. The date is Turdus, 24th of Frostfall in the year 3rd era 389. It took two days to reach your goal. You walk through the gates of Granite Hall, ruled by Duke Fenrald. The streets seem strangely quiet. Interesting. Okay. Hopefully we'll get some rumors about some interesting artifact, preferably the Ogma Infinium. Hello good sir, who are you? You can call me Erarik Mayildsen. I am a hunter. I just killed a ten point buck, you bet. <laughs> okay. Um, heard any interesting rumors? I'll ask around, but I haven't heard anything lately that would interest you. Work? Ever done any delivery work? Well, no matter, there's an aristocrat called Matina of Oakwood in a tavern just south of here. This character isn't very demanding, just needs a bit of help. Ah, uh, no thanks. Mm. That does not sound particularly promising. And I don't think we'll get any other rumors, so let's uh, follow this road along here to Carthwaston Hall. Eight days travel. Sure, let's do it. You walk through the gates of Carthwaston Hall, ruled by Duke Alark. The streets seem strangely quiet. <laughs> we have a lot of locations with strangely quiet streets. Is it because of rumors of plague? Is it because of the snow in this case? Of course, it's also night. Better draw our weapon, just to be safe. And let's save again. See what we can see. 2 a.m. Oh, little rats. Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. This is perfect for Skyrim. A beautiful snowy location. Third of Sun's Dusk. I don't recall the order of all the months. So I don't know whether we are officially in winter or not, but we might be. Interesting mountain there in the distance. Restless Scarred. Actually, let's keep looking around a little bit. There should be some people who are still out and about. The NPCs that have fixed locations. Let's hope to find one who can perhaps give us a rumor, and then we can go to whatever inn they mention. Anyone in this alleyway? There's got to be somebody before long. The Restless Jug. Okay. Dead end. A cold and snowy night. Nice atmosphere that this conveys. 
in my opinion, most of the art design choices made in this game are fantastic. Including visuals and music sounds. There were a few things that I would have done differently, but not too many. For example, at some point we'll see a minotaur, and uh, I think the minotaurs are a little bit silly looking, but that's just my opinion. Hello, good sir. Who are you? I have taken the name Majald, for that was the name of the savior of my village. What can I do to point you in the path of salvation, sinful high elf? It's a bit presumptuous of you, but... Uh... Can you tell me about any interesting rumors? I'll ask around. Hmm. Mother of the ice, another homeless high elf looking for work. Just what Carthwaston Hall needs. Okay, I'm sensing a little bit of, you know, a little bit of racism. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to bother asking him about... Well, okay, fine. Do you know anything about Fanglair? You wouldn't be the first searching for that. Why don't you try somewhere in the cities of Hammerfell? I heard something happened there. Okay. And the nearest store. Look west of here. Okay. Well, we didn't get any interesting rumors from him. How about you? Who are you? Nice to meet you, High Elf. I am Kik Ulrinson of the Brotherhood of War. Can I give you some of our literature, or do you need something else? Rumors, please. I'd ask someone else with a better ear. Work? If you are looking for work, well, that's just what we need, another destitute high elf. Okay, okay. Goodbye. What temple is this, anyway? Brotherhood of War, once again, okay. Interesting. Hello there. Who are you? I am Eren Haran <laughs> Hararnison of the Conclave of Justice, my child. How may a poor monk help you? My prophet says Somerset Isle is doomed to sink beneath the sea. He did not specify when, but it sounded like soon. Well, not likely. Ask around. Okay, fine. Well, so far we are not getting much of interest. And again, Arendil is getting a bit tired of the cold weather and the cold reception he's been getting from some of the people here. He's considering moving on. Perhaps to find a larger city that might be more promising. So we're going to skip Ambregard and Lanelton. We'll move on to Snowhawk. A city-state. Eight days to travel there. Okay, let's do it. We bade you enter Snowhawk, where the wind is as fierce as our city's name, and sharp as its talons. And we have arrived in the daytime. It's always nice. Oh, I love the daytime snow music. It's so good. Just enjoy this, folks. enter the mage's guild going from a cool gloomy outside to a cool gloomy inside. Because of the shadows, you cannot see all that the chamber contains. You suspect that even by the light of a bright day, the room has its secrets. Potions, relics, and books line the bookshelves shrouded by a fine dust. We'll just spend a little bit of time here. Hello there. And we just have the standard list of spells.
Well, I'll take a gander at your magical items as well. Okay, okay. Interesting. And your potions. Excellent. Thank you. Good day. Back to the magnificent snow music. Brawled Supply Store. It is a miserable autumn day outside, and it is good to get inside Old Brawled Supply Store. We glance over the new shipments of supplies and weaponry. Hope you have something good. Okay, a mithril dagger. Not enchanted though. Okay. Hello there. Looks like you have seen many winters. Who are you? Good day, High Elf. My name is Majar Torbixen, the city state thief. I was thinking about picking this high elf's pockets. <laughs> okay, you're remarkably honest for a thief. I hope you are joking. Have you heard any interesting rumors? They say Morrowind is doomed to wither away from plague and pestilence this year or next. My opinion is good riddance. Work? Rumor has it that there's a slightly impatient fellow called Mad Kirsta southwest of here, looking for someone to escort some relative or something. Might mean a few gold pieces for you if you've got the time. Okay, I'm not interested in petty little escort quests and whatnot. Hello there, poor beggar. I'll just pretend I give him a gold coin or two, since they unfortunately do not give you that option within the game. Excuse me. Who are you? Good day, High Elf. My name is Hunter Erarkson, the city-state bodyguard. I am one of the king's private bodyguards. Speaking of the king, can you tell me where is the palace? I would check to the east if I were you. Okay. Well, since we're in an important city-state, we will briefly check out the palace. See if the local ruler has any more interesting work for us to do. If not, we'll move on. Okay, fine, I'll check one more supply store. The Essential Gear Store. cities are quite large. Okay. So we want to head east and north, apparently. Okay, bear with me, folks. One more supply store. New tool store. It is a bit strange this time of year to get warmer weather, but new supplies of gear and armaments arrived at a new tool store with the warmth. You find a few useful items immediately. So I guess it's feeling warmer all of a sudden. Okay. Interesting. Ah. Uh, nothing of interest here. Okay. How are you doing there? 
From the alchemist? Well, <laughs> there you go. Who are you? Good day. I am Ingmick Alderson. I do not think I have anything that would interest you. Well, have you heard any interesting rumors? Nothing I can say. Snowhawk's been pretty quiet, actually. Rumors about work? By Olfar's hammer, another homeless high elf looking for work. Just what Snowhawk needs. Alright. Well, do you know anything about Fang Lair? Sorry, friend. I thought that was just a myth. Good day to you, then. In we go to the palace. Let's save our game real quick. I think we should be able to see... Oh. Is that... Yeah, there's kind of a palace in the distance, I guess? Interesting. You enter King Torben's audience chamber, shaking the chill of the gray autumn day from your skin. Being currently at peace with his neighbor's solitude, the leading citizens of Snowhawk have met to discuss the resultant implications with their king. Interesting. The main hall. And here we have... The local royalty. Tell me, young High Elf, are you in our fair city-state for business or pleasure? No matter. Snowhawk offers ample rewards for seekers of either. You will find the people here friendly and accommodating, although I would not recommend leaving your weaponry back at your inn if you wander at night. Goodbye, Eorendu. Okay. Our reputation is not yet high enough for us to be getting tasks from royalty. So anyway, we'll move on. Perhaps we will go north as far as Solitude, the very far north of Tamriel. Six days travel. We better get some interesting rumors this time. We bid you welcome to the Arctic wastes of Solitude, the northernmost city-state in the realm. Beware our might. Well noted. Hello, good sir. Who are you? Greetings, High Elf. I am Ulrin Torberksen. Tor I am Ulrin Torberksen, a typical weaver, and I hope to be hired to make a new tapestry for the palace. Rumors? You're probably asking the wrong person. Work? I don't know if you want to make a couple gold pieces, but I've heard there's a rather mysterious character called Rogue Bettina to the west, looking for some help. Needs someone to pick up something. Well. Okay, I'm starting to give up hope on getting an interesting artifact quest. Perhaps we should go ahead and proceed with the main quest for a little bit. Our quest for tips about the Ogma Infidium has uh, failed so far. We will pursue that more later, but uh, yeah, Eärendil cannot justify spending too much time on such things. Though it would be helpful in this quest, it is not essential. And he does have important duties to be looking into. So. Perhaps we'll go ahead and head to Dragonstar, and we will end this game session there. The city-state of Dragonstar in Hammerfell Province. Based on the current weather, it will take 14 days to travel here. 780 kilometers. We'll arrive by mid second of evening star in the year 3rd era, 389. Very well. You have arrived in the city-state of Dragonstar in Hammerfell Province. The date is Turdus, 3rd of Evening Star, in the year 3rd Era, 389. It took 14 days to reach your goal. Welcome to Dragonstar, home of the Sacred Rage. We wish thee peace and rest in our city-state, but conduct thyself honorably, or thou shalt answer to our guards. Now we are in the lands of the Red Guard. And we will simply save, and call it good for today. We will begin exploring Hammerfell next time, and make some progress in the main quest. But for now, thank you very much for watching, 
Please do like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see more, consider supporting me on Patreon at patreon.com slash thedrake, and I'll see you next time.